where we are today on board. Uh, this is our aircraft system that allows us to map unique aspects of the environment. For coral reefs, we have an instrument in the back that very uniquely can see through the seawater to the seafloor itself down to a depth of about 70 feet. And what we see using this instrument is where the wild corals are, uh, where the dead corals are, where the algae is. We don't see the fish, but we see the habitat for the fish. So this is what the mapping capability of this aircraft is for coral reefs. We also have instruments that you know, image land and uh, vegetation in 3D and so forth. But in the coral reef mission that we're on now, we're really focused on understanding the state of our coral reefs here in Hawaii from the, with the lens of where is the live coral. So this is a map of the area we're going to remap in this flight. This is West Maui. And uh, you see the remnants of the volcano in West Maui. And you see the agricultural lands. And then this yellow red band is where the live coral was last year. Yellow means it's low density of live coral. And the red, if you look closely, is where the coral cover is in high abundance or high density. And so the mission today is to fly uh, this region again and assess the change from last year to this year with the big event between these two years being the massive marine heat wave that we all underwent uh, from about July through November of 2019. Yeah, so, you know, we're all faced with uh, sustaining these reefs into the future. And these reefs are undergoing kind of three major areas of impact. One is are these heat waves that keep showing up. We had a big one in 2015. We had a big one in 2019. Noah is predicting that we're going to have a heat wave in the ocean about every year or two, by 2030. These heat waves, uh, they're like heat waves that pass through a city. Uh, they, they stress the system. And we don't know the long-term impacts of that yet. So we're trying to work with DR, uh, DLNR's DR, to one, figure out what is the impact of these heat waves. At the same time, there are these two other stressors uh, that we need to work on. One is the effects of land development and land activities on the reef. That's mostly pollution and sedimentation. And so we're working with the Illinois to figure out where is the reef impacted by sedimentation and, and waterborne pollution. And the third is the fishery itself. Uh, heavy fishing has impacts on reefs. And so we're trying to understand if there's a relationship between the fishing monitoring that Dara does now and the state or the condition of the reef as, it, as we map it today. So those are the relationships and the different connections we're trying to make between the science that we do and the management that the UNR leads.